Just love how magical the forest is out here. Just dense and it's really loamy. It's larger than life. It's larger than a picture. It's something that is best seen very slowly. Well, you go on the, uh, up in the mountain and you can see the ocean around. So it's beautiful here in this area. When people first visit Yaha, I think they're totally taken by the headlands, the forests, and the ocean all coming together. And, and the sound of the waves, you know, they're just awestruck by it. You get a place for yourself. You have your own space for your own time and, and time to just reflect. There aren't a lot of other distractions to take you away other than the ocean and the birds and the trees. It, it means a lot to a lot of people. We have state parks almost every 10 minutes. There's a public access, which is unprecedented. I like mountain biking here because the terrain is so special. It's just a beautiful experience every time. Being able to descend right to the ocean is an amazing experience. I don't think you can really get in most places. What a great ending. <laughs> Stellar. We're at Cape Perpetual. Let's go out to the point where the vista is. And you're looking at a Marine protected area to the north and a marine reserve to the south with two wildernesses right here. So you can hike into the old growth or there are little pocket beaches and little trails that you can get to and you'll have it to yourself for the most part. We're one of the, if not the best spot left in the west coast. The coast has got awesome opportunities for engagement. It's an invasive problem that's just continuing to grow. And so doing our part by getting on the beach and cleaning up is, is all you can do, but it, it's really great. It's, it's every one of these programs is an incremental approach to something that is much larger than we are. Well, it's become a very um, solemn and spiritual trail. Some hikers and walkers have described it as a prayer walk. Others have described it as a walk to healing. We'll Yahat is an intersection point. Where I draw my inspiration is from the abundant natural systems that surround us our locally grown foods, locally harvested wild crafted goods. What that does, it helps us to be a part of the world that surrounds us as opposed to something separate. And Waldport is one of my favorite little towns on the coast. It's one of those places where you can just come as you are. And there's just some great small businesses on the central coast. Galleries, little restaurants, cafes. We've got an incredible little chocolate shop. There's Pacific Sourdough, which is a world-class bakery. What I love about Walport is that we're in the middle of this bay, this beautiful, pristine estuary where there's no industry. We don't have a fishing fleet. We don't have any logging up the river. We don't have any big agricultural farming or anything like that. It's just nice, clean water. And there's lovely crabbing. It's fun to kayak. There's good salmon fishing, hiking nearby. In two minutes, I go across the street and walking up Lindsay Trail. I think the community, the natural beauty, the opportunity to get out in the woods.
South Lincoln County is just one of the more beautiful places on the planet, let alone the Oregon coast. Anything to get out in it, whether it's hiking, biking, kayaking and paddling. I love just going for a walk in the woods and it's, it's really like its own meditation. And you get out on these big wide open beaches, it's really an opportunity to find yourself. Get away from all that traffic, all those people, all that concrete. There's so many great people here. There's people that could live anywhere that have decided to live here because it's such a beautiful place. So here is a mussel. It doesn't get any fresher and it's cooked in shallots and white wine and butter, but talk about a taste of the Oregon coast right there. What's amazing is that, you know, all Oregon beaches are public. Thanks to the Beach Bill in 1967, it's everybody's beach. And that's a rare thing.